Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error on your Windows computer where the third party INF does not contain a digital signature information. So if you're coming across this problem, there generally are two different types of drivers available. So third party drivers and then official drivers which are developed by the manufacturers. So the main difference is that a digital signature will mean that a driver is signed by a manufacturer and is authentic, whereas if you have unofficial drivers, it would not have a clear signature for them. So it just generally means it might not be as stable or well tested. We can debate the merits of signatures all we want, but in today's tutorial, if you're coming across an issue where you're trying to run a specific application and you're looking to run it without a digital signature, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So pretty straightforward process here, guys, and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in CMD, best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. Now, the first command we're going to run here is going to be disabling driver enforcement. and I do have a video of how to enable and disable that. You guys can search my channel for that if you ever want to re-enable that. In today's tutorial, I'm just showing you guys how to disable it through the command prompt. I've made a tutorial where you actually go through troubleshooting settings, which is slightly more involved, but not, not too bad, to be quite honest. So I'm just going to show you guys how it pertains to this tutorial, so we're just going to be turning this off. So I would definitely suggest considering re-enabling it. I don't think it's the end of the world either way, just to be completely honest honest. I mean, some people might have their difference of opinions on that, but uh, regardless, we're going to copy the first commands to the BCD edit command. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in. Should come back with it, the operation completed successfully. Another thing you can try, so hopefully once you've done that, restart your computer and try and install the application again. Another thing you can try to be to run a system file checking utility. So the second command should be in the description of my video as well. So we're just going to paste it in in the same manner we did the first one. You could type it in as well. So just basically SFC space forward slash scan now. And there's also going to be a DISM command as well to check for other deficiencies in your hard drive. So just giving you guys a couple options. You can also attempt the system restore. So it's just kind of tacking on additional options here. I'm not going to wait for this whole process to finish. It's not going to be very interesting, to be quite honest with you guys. So just restart your computer once this command and the following command is finished. So there's one more command in the description of the video. Just paste it in the same way you did this one. Probably will take, I would say, a good 20 to 30 minutes for both of these commands to run. Restart your computer whenever prompted, and hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.